Youth Constitution Act 2010, wherein the Prime Minister, along with his cabinet, was made responsible to the Senate. A report of the Auditor General of Pakistan relating to the accounts of the Federation to be laid before the Senate. Number of seats were increased. NFC was made responsible to the Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, the inclusion of senators in the Public Account Committee was also an historic development that has not been achieved in a smooth manner, rather systematic and consistent endeavors have remained a steering factor in the formation of the Joint Committee on Public Accounts that would further strengthen the democratic system in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all are aware that Federation is a setup more suited to countries with diversity. A bicameral legislature has become the necessity of multicultural federation since it, since it best satisfies the need of federating units by giving them equal representation to participate in le legislation and accountability processes. Not just that, it also guarantees impartiality through providing a second deliberation on matters overshadowed otherwise. Distinguished guests, being the house of the Federation, the Senate of Pakistan was formed with the principle of Chamber of Con Continuity, which symbolizes a process of continuity in the national affairs. Throughout its existence, the Senate has served as a critical check on the powers of the executive and has been instrument, instrumental in shaping legislative policies that have had a profound impact on the lives of our citizens. Today, as we reflect on the past 50 years, we take pride in the Senate's accomplishment in promoting democracy, transparency, and accountability. I say that I also stress on further strengthening of the Senate to ensure ethnic and provincial equilibrium in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, on this auspicious occasion, I also pay tribute to all those who have served in the Senate of Pakistan over the past half a century, and to those who continue to serve in this August House. Your de dedication, commitment, and service to the people of Pakistan are greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, given that this year also celebrates the golden jubilee of the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, this truly is a momentous occasion for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, before I proceed further, I would like to take this opportunity to honor the contributions of Shaheed Zulafkar Ali Bhutto in this regard. Under his able leadership, the Constitution of 1973 was drafted and adopted, which remains the supreme law of the land to this day. The Constitution enshrines the principle of democracy, federalism, and the rule of law, and provides for the protection of fundamental rights and freedoms. Ladies and gentlemen, respect and mutual consultation are the two of the Constitution of Pakistan. Therefore, being custodian of the House, a huge responsibility lies on our shoulders. A responsibility to display impartiality and protect parliamentary privilege. A responsibility to uphold the Constitution and democracy. And last but not the least, a responsibility to make sure that the voice of audience in the House is not suppressed by any means. Honorable members, both houses of the parliaments must work in harmony. Collaboration between the secretariats of the two houses of parliament is crucial for the effective functioning of our parliamentary system. By working together, 
the secretariats can help to ensure that parliamentary proceedings are conducted smoothly and efficiently, while promoting, promoting greater transparency and accountability in our democratic system. Ladies and gentlemen, today Pakistan stands at a crossroad of time. We are facing many challenges, but we also have many opportunities. As the, as the guardians of the right of our people, it is now on us to decide where we want to take our country. We can either choose to continue down the path of the despair, where corruption and strife continues to reign, or we can choose to take our country towards the light of hope, where progress, prosperity, and peace are possible. We must not rest our laurels and remember that power to make this choice lies with us. To achieve this, we must work together across party lines and personal interest for the greater good of our nation. We must also work towards protecting the rights of our citizen, upholding the Constitution, and ensuring that all parliamentary proceedings are conducted in accordance with the law. We have the power to bring about change. Let us use this power wisely and with a sense of responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I must reiterate that commemoration of such event is of paramount importance, as it allows us to reflect on our shared history celebrate our achievements and renew our commitment to the values and principles that define our nation. Let us use this occasion to rededicate ourselves to cause of democracy, federalism, and the rule of law, and to work together to build a stronger, more inclusive, and a more prosperous Pakistan. With this, I thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Rasa. Senate Key Golden.